of a showing property to a client for the first time uh, through the elevator and as we were coming downstairs the elevator would not open so it finally opened we're walking out and then something like just moves really quickly across I thought it was a snake and I got so freaked out that I grabbed her next thing I know we're both holding on to each other like this <laughs> I said I was so sorry because I thought I saw a snake, but it turned out to be a baby lizard. <laughs> so then when I saw her today, it was her showing property again, I said, I promise I will not grab onto you this time. And she said it was okay because um, I thought I saw a snake and I was scared and she was totally understanding. So that was my funny story. <laughs> <coughs> What about you, Jen? Have you grabbed any clients lately? <laughs> <laughs> no, can't say that I have. <laughs>
Somebody could move right in here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Hey, can you, hey. can I give you an MLS number? I want you to call the agent or just go in showing time and set me an appointment um, to preview it. It's got an ML, it's got a private lockbox on it. Yeah, and just put in there in showing time that I'm going to show it, you know, say at, you know, 12, 15, which is, which is now. Two minutes from now. <laughs> but it should, it should approve it yeah. right away and give you the, yeah, no worries. and text me the private lockbox code. Thank you. The home we're previewing for the out-of-state owner, the home right across the, the street from them is listed for sale six days ago. So just took it, it's vacant, so I wanted to go ahead and be in the home, preview it. When I call the homeowner across the street, we can talk about their competition, what they're asking, the condition of that one. So it's always good, if possible, that I can preview the competitors uh, as we're analysis making analysis for pricing so I just just to comment on the home I'm in now this is a wonderful opportunity for someone and it's not even my listing I'm I'm gonna be listing the home across the street we I previewed this one to see the competition this is an estate the home I'm in listed with someone else it's put in the MLS as sold as is it's an estate sale you walk around the carpet is nasty the flooring is original cabinets are original I mean, this is probably an original owner, 1982. Uh, this is a great, there's a great potential for a buyer to purchase this property uh, three blocks from the ocean, listed at 189. It's going to sell for less. And so if you've got any questions about fixer uppers like this or any properties that are good values east of 17, I mean, we're talking about single family home, one car garage, three bedroom, two bath, listed at 189, does need some work. If you're not scared to get your hands dirty and roll up your sleeves, this is a great opportunity right here. So call me. Where's Allie? Let me see something real quick. Wait. Allie? Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on my watch right now. What are you doing? Didn't know you could do that, huh? I didn't think, no. Something happened with my phone and my watch recently where I'm getting more notifications, which is okay. I kind of, it's a little distracting sometimes. <laughs> the staff tells me, Rick and Kim said that we put 26 uh, properties on the MLS. We've got 26 new listings in the last 21 days. So that's less than, that's 21 calendar days. So in, I guess, 14, to 15 business days, they put 26 on the market. Now the good news is we've already got seven of those 26 under contract as of right now. I think what happens is the quality properties that are you know, priced correctly, not giving them away, but that are in good condition uh, are still selling quickly. Now there is a caveat as you get above 300, 350 and you keep going up, um, you can have it priced correctly, great condition. It is taking a little longer, it just is. Uh, just there's less demand the higher you go up in price here. We're seeing nationally, if you look at other markets, California, Phoenix, Scottsdale, greater Chicago area, some big markets, they are starting to change. Their markets have changed where they've seen multiple months of increased inventory and decreasing sales. They've seen three plus months of that happening. The Grand Strand market typically in my 20 years has trailed the, the nation. We, we're last to go on the peak and we're last to fall. Now this is good because we can watch and say it's probably coming. So we're in a six, this is probably our sixth year of an upward trending market. So I really do believe, and I hope I'm wrong, but I do believe a correction is coming. And so the good thing about the Grand Strain is that we are affordable for a lot of people still. I mean, the price points are very, uh, we're not selling, you know, people aren't coming in here on an entry level home like they are in some markets paying five, 600,000. You can still get a great home for $175,000 here. So um, I do think there's a shift beginning to happen and we're feeling it a little bit in that 300 and over already here locally. It's, it is becoming tougher to sell that home than it was 
you know, 30, 60, 90 days ago.